Now let's look at dividing complex numbers. Let's look at an example. If you have 5 divided by 7i, um, remember the rule that you can't have a square root in the denominator. We have a similar rule that says we don't want to have an i uh, in the denominator. It, there are, if there's an easy problem like this where it's just 5 over 7i, then you just need to get the i out. You can just multiply the denominator by i and the numerator by i. 5 times i is 5i. 7i times i is going to be 7i squared, and then the i squared is going to be a minus 1. So that's 5i over 7 times minus 1. 5i over a minus 7. Usually we bring the 7 out, the negative out in front, so it'll be minus 5i over 7. Anytime you have an i alone on the bottom, for example, 3 over 5i, it's going to be a very similar problem. Multiply by i, multiply by i, 3i over 5i squared. Again, the i squared is minus 1, so that's 3i over 5 times minus 1. 5 times minus 1 is a negative 5, so that's minus 3i over 5, or sometimes it's written minus 3 fifths i. So the first difficulty really is to recognize when the problems get a little bit harder. And they get a little bit harder when you have a complex number with both a real and an imaginary part in the denominator. So for example, 3 over 7 plus 5i, that's going to be a little bit more difficult. 12i over 2 minus 6i is going to be a little bit more difficult. 6 plus 2i over 4 minus 3i. If you look at these three problems, in each case, if you look at the denominator, the denominator has a complex number, the denominator which has both a real part and an imaginary part. And those can be a little tricky to solve, but not that hard. But before we actually solve a problem like that, we need to study the complex conjugate. Now the complex conjugate is very similar to the radical conjugate. And rather than explaining what it is, the easier just, is just to show you. So let's do that. Let's say you have 3 plus 6i. If you have the term 3 plus 6i, the conjugate is going to be 3 minus 6i. If you had 7 minus 2i, it's going to be 7 plus 2i. If it's minus 5 plus i, it's going to be minus 5 minus i. If it's minus 6 plus 16i, it's minus 6 minus 16i. And if it's minus 5 minus 2i, it's going to be a minus 5 plus 2i. Let's do one more. 10 plus 3i is going to be 10 minus 3i. So if you notice, whenever you have a term, let's look at this one, that's a minus 5 plus 1i. You're going to, to get the conjugate, you're going to use exactly the same term, but you're going to change the sign that's in front of the i. Let's look at this first one here. Here you have 3 plus 6i. The conjugate's also going to be 3 plus 6i, but rather than 3 plus 6i, the sign that's in front of the i is going to change. In this case, it was a positive, it changes to a negative. In this case, it's a negative, it changes to a positive, and the other term remains the same. So let's look at how that we're going to use this. Let's say we had this problem here. Simplify 5 divided by 3 minus 2i. So what we're going to do here is we're going to multiply this and we're going to multiply the denominator by its complex conjugate. So we're going to multiply the denominator by 3 plus 2i. I'm going to put these in parentheses to help me a little. Now, if we multiply the denominator by 3 plus 2i, then we're going to have to multiply the numerator by 3 plus 2i as well. And then when we multiply this out, this is, this is a trick, essentially, that gets the i out of the denominator. 
Let's multiply the numerator first. We're just going to distribute. We're going to get 5 times 3, that's going to be 15. And we're going to have 5 plus 2i, that's going to be 10i. And the denominator is going to be a FOIL problem, so that's 3 times 3. 3 times 3 will be 9. You'll have, first, outside, you'll have 3 times 2i. 3 times 2i is going to be a 6i. Uh, inside is going to be a minus 2i and a positive 3. Minus 2i and a positive 3 is going to be a minus 6i. And then L for last, negative 2i plus a 2i, that's going to be a minus 4i squared. Now for now the numerator is fine, so let's look at the denominator more closely. The first thing, let's combine like terms. Here we have a 6i and a minus 6i. If you take a positive 6i and you subtract 6i, you're going to get 0. So now we're going to get 15 plus 10i divided by 9 minus 4i squared. At this point we have i squared and we're going to always simplify i whenever you have it to a power. So the i squared is going to be a minus 1. So that's going to be 15 plus 10i over 9 minus 4 times minus 1. A minus 4 times a minus 1, of course, is just a plus 4, so that's 15 plus 10i over 9 plus 4, or 13. So you have 15 plus 10i over 13. And this normally would be a fine answer, but because we already have a real part and an imaginary part, we'd like to split out the real and the imaginary parts. So we can just write this in a slightly different form. That'll be 15 divided by 13 plus 10 divided by 13i. And that's your final answer. Let's just look at another example. We're going to simplify 6i over 2 plus 5i. The very first thing we need to do is we need to find the complex conjugate of 2 plus 5i. The complex conjugate of 2 plus 5i is going to be a 2 minus 5i. Now if you multiply the bottom by 2 minus 5i, you're going to have to multiply the top by 2 minus 5i. And now you're just going to simply multiply. Let's distribute the 6i across. So that's 6i times 2, that's going to be 12i. And then you have 6i times a minus 5i, that's going to be a minus 30i squared. Now what I often do is I work only with the numerator until I'm completely done, and then I later come back and do the denominator. So let's do that. We have 12i minus 30i squared. The i squared here is just going to be a minus 1, so that's going to be 12 minus 30 times a negative 1. And then a negative 30 times a negative 1 is going to be a positive 30. So that's going to be 12i plus 30. I'm going to stop there for now. Now let's look at the denominator. The denominator again is just a FOIL problem, so it's 2 times 2, that will be 4. First, outer, 2 times a minus 5i is a minus 10i. Inner, 5i times 2 will be a positive 10i. And then last, 5i times a negative 5i, which is going to be a minus 25i squared. Let's look at the denominator. It's minus 10i and a positive 10i. The negative 10i and the positive 10i are going to cancel. So you're going to end up with 4 minus 
i squared. But i squared is just a minus 1, so that's 4 minus 25 times a minus 1, which is just 4 plus 25. I didn't do anything to the top, so I'm just going to copy it over. 4 plus 25 will be 29, so you have 12i plus 30 over 29. And that answer is correct. It's not in the form that we like it. The first thing is we like to write the numerator in standard form, so we'd like it in a plus bi. So let's put the real part first. That's 30 plus 12i over 29. And then the next step is we want to separate out the real and the imaginary part. So that's 30 over 29 plus 12 over 29i. And that's your final answer.